Okay, how we doing guys? We got our little strainer thing again. And I thought we'd do something. That last painting that I did, the colors were just unreal. So I thought we'd mix them together on this thing. Instead of doing it this way like I did normally, where they just run out. I think we're going to put it this way and run around the outer edge. And let them just drip with the same colors. But I'm going to do it in a pour version. I'm going to take a cup, mix all my colors in here. And then run that around here and let them drip down into the white. And then we'll pick that up and see what we get out of it. Okay, so here we go. We gotta get some white down there to set that in first. Yeah, I get enough so when these drip, it covers that edge. Okay, stop dripping. Okay, what's a, yeah, we need a little bit bigger circle, so. Open that up. I get somewhat of a circle out of it. Okay. Now let's set you somewhat in the middle. Okay, we got the white came up through there. All right, let me mix a pour cup here real quick. And we're going to start with white this time. But we're going to end this one in black. I think. Okay, I want a lot of the phthalo blue in here. I'm going to do these. Like so. Your drip out. Then go with the gold to separate them. I was going to go with yellow, but now we'll go with the green. This time the colors are just set on their own, so now they're all separate. They're not all mixed together. I mean, they're going to be mixed a little bit. But when they pour out of here, they're going to pour as their own individual color. Okay, now I'll go with the yellow just to brighten this up. Don't want too much yellow in here. Because I don't want that phthalo blue and yellow getting together and making green. And now we're going to top it off with some black. Which should give us some pretty cool rings. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Some crazy colors or what? Now our other colors are coming out. My problem is that center filled. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that out of the middle. Sorry, small interruption there. So let's see how we're going to get this paint out of the center. It did start to split there. Now I have no idea. I do not want to stick my finger in that. I'm just curious if that's going to run out. And it's not. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to make that into a flip. Put that right in the middle. Yeah, that's why I didn't do that. I really need to just make a big hole in the middle of that, I think. So that'll drain out. If I'm going to do that. So let's see what we got here. Now we got another world in a world. So let's see what comes out of these colors. I try to keep that there. That ring. 
and just slowly open it up. Thought of doing the pulling it apart. But them are such cool cells. With that green and white and gold. Try to run them so I can pull it back. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We're just getting out of that alone. Oh, okay. Now let's see if we can just slowly get that to move over there. I'm pulling everything apart. We got a really cool thing going on in the middle there. Let's see if we can separate a little bit of that. And let's see what goes out of down there. Easy. We're not getting a good run right there. There we go. I need to catch up. Okay. Let's see what we can do about that white, mixing that down. Yeah. I love them cells in that inside. That is absolutely cool. Oh, there's another amazing thing, guys. Them colors are just... The phthalo blue just don't pop out. The other... That teal green, I'm going to have to eliminate that next time when I do it. And try one without that. Because that one is just so strong. Even that phthalo blue, as bright as it is, this teal green takes over. So, let me get you down here. I got my gloves off. And that's what you get out of a strainer. I mean, that center is unreal. Like I said, that teal just took over more. Phthalo blue is in there. Around the edges. But them are awesome right there. I mean, the way those faded out and then with the white. Big massive cells that stretched out. And the gold right there. Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, there you go, guys. Pour over a strainer. And that's what you get. It's amazing. Let me show you the other one. It did dry a little bit different than the last one when I last showed it. This here all like sort of broke up and bubbled. Well, not bubbled, but the black broke through. And that was, there's that spot. It did level out. Give you guys a good view of the light. But yeah, that green and... That just came out awesome. And that just, I don't know where that came from, but same with that. Just a big black blob. I didn't drop no paint on it because it's been sitting by itself. That just appeared like a burst. Same with that one. But that one, uh, it's not so bold. It mixed more. But yeah, there you go. Crazy paintings. And then you got that. That is just amazing. I love that. Hope you guys are liking them. Hope you enjoy it. I'm having fun. When, especially when you get things that look like that. From a strainer. From this thing here. You get that. Amazing, ain't it? So. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think, guys. It always helps. I like doing them. Hope you enjoy me doing them. So for now, later. Peace.